are millions of miles away unless you head to the Vanderbilt Dyer Observatory. And of course, we are talking the sun, the moon, the stars, all the great things. And no matter your age, they have got something for you. Please welcome back Yay. William Keats. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, thanks for having me back. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be here, but yeah, I'd love to tell you a little bit about some of the events that we have coming up at the observatory. There's a lot so, calendar. Yeah, so we uh, we open up uh, to the public in March of every year, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. for example, uh, we have our open house days where we do a guided tour around the observatory. Uh, if we have a, a clear sky, we even have some of the telescopes going so that we could look at the sun. Uh, for example, there's a, a nice view of the sun we took just the other wow. day, and there's some folks viewing through our telescopes. So, so cool. Um, one of our, our biggest events that we have uh, each month is a telescope night. And so those nights uh, we'll have uh, multiple telescopes going if it's clear enough. Um, and even if it's cloudy or, or completely, you know, rained out, we'll still have the event and uh, folks are engaged with our staff and our volunteers. Right. They get to ask lots of questions. So, you know, if you have a, a burning astronomy question, bring, uh, bring it to one of those nights and you'll get it answered. Burning astronomy uh, questions. Uh, yeah. Write them and down. Also, we do uh, lectures at the observatory. Right. Um, in fact, I'll be doing the next one, uh, which I'll tell you a little bit more about in a, in a moment. But um, we also have summer camps. Uh, we have um, our uh, Bluebird on the concert, or Bluebird on the Mountain concerts, yeah, which are that. yeah, those <laughs> are some of the the uh, most um, or some of the most popular events. Uh, we have about 600 people up on the grounds, wow. um, but we've been working with the Bluebird Cafe now for over 20 years, and they bring the talent to our hilltop, and we have a really memorable night under the stars. Uh, and, and if it's clear afterwards, we even get to look through the telescope. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, it's a great night, and we always look forward to those. That's amazing. So, now, you yeah. said something about summer camps, so that's something yes. that's starting up again, right? Yes, we haven't had summer camps since uh, the start of the pandemic. Wow. So uh, the camps are for rising fifth through eighth graders. Mm -hmm. Um, we have two week-long camps. First one is for fifth and sixth grade. Second one is for seventh and eighth grade and runs about nine to three each day. Mm -hmm. um, and during those camps, we bring faculty and grad students and postdocs down from the main campus yeah. and they, they talk with the students. Um, we do lots of demonstrations. Um, the, the kids learn about telescopes, yeah. about light. They build um, uh, different projects like model comets or water rockets that they get to launch. And what? then we'll even take a trip down to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center for a full day on the Wednesday of, of each week. Really? So they actually cool. get to see some of these rockets. Yeah, and there's a picture of some of the projects. Ah, the that, that, that middle it's picture. It's very hands-on. Oh, yeah. so cool. What an opportunity for kids that they will not forget. I want to know about your astronomer lecture. Yes, yeah, so uh, we do those monthly as well. Um, I'm actually doing the next one. Yeah. So uh, Bring it on. this month's uh, topic is going to be uh, about Edward Emerson Barnard. So he's he may not be a household name right, right now, but go back 100 years and he was a household Why? name in Nashville. Why? So he How was born here in Nashville and he became a world famous astronomer. While he was here in Nashville, he made numerous discoveries, including five comets and a few other things uh, with his own telescope. So. He was really the first director of the first observatory at Vanderbilt, which was not Dyer Observatory. Wow. Um, but uh, in, in, the, in the lecture, we're going to be talking about uh, his life and many of his accomplishments uh, from you know, his time here in Nashville to when he was out at the, uh, in California at the other mm. observatories. Wow. And then after, uh, after that, um, in April, we have Dr. David Weintraub giving a, a talk about his latest book, which is about women astronomers. It's <gasps> called The Sky is for Everyone. Very cool. Yes. yes. So um, the sky is for everyone. It's uh, it's a um, uh, kind of autobiographical, but it's really the uh, the women that are telling their stories, and uh, these are women from 20 different countries that broke down barriers mm -hmm. in astronomy, and uh, really contributed so much to the different fields. So uh, we're so happy to be able to hear their stories. Wow. Um, yeah, and I mentioned um, one other event that we have coming up later on this year is an eclipse, an annular yes, eclipse. Yes, we do. Get yes. ready for it. So and October, it's almost spring yeah. equinox. Yes, yeah, we're, we're already blazing through the year here. But yeah, in, uh, in October, October 14th, uh, we will have uh, a partial eclipse here in Nashville. But um, if you're out west, you'll actually see... Um, 
uh, the moon pass completely in front of the sun, but it won't be able to cover the entire thing. Mm -hmm. It'll look like this bright ring. So cool. if you're out west, you'll be able to see a really cool view, but we'll still have a nice view here in Nashville. See, William yeah. Cheats is yeah. going to be a household name in the <laughs> yes. future. I, I hope know so, it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I know it. I love that. Thank you Thank so you. much for so yes. long here. Thank you're you so, so much. Cool. <laughs> well, for more information on visiting the observatory and having an out-of-this-world experience, head to dyer.vanderbilt.edu.